this is Wild About 28, and I'm here from the hospital again. Um, change in scenery, but this time I'm here for something a little different. Um, I came in because I was coughing constantly, and I just couldn't get a breath of air pretty much because the humidity messed with my lungs, and um, I was also not eating, and then when I did eat, I couldn't keep any food down. I kept on throwing it up, and when I and then when I did keep it down, my stomach was just in a lot of pain. So I ended up getting on IVs. So my port's going um, for Pseudomonas. So that's just a basic lung infection. And also, I got my impen my gallbladder taken out. Um, so that's something quite different. Um, actually, you can get stones in your gallbladder. And the thing that is different from kidney stones compared to gallstones is gallstones can actually block other things in your GI tract, like your liver, your small intestines, your large intestines, stuff like that, and then cause a bigger problem. So they don't actually want me to pass it like a kidney stone, which you can just pass, which is kind of painful, but you can tolerate it. Um, so they didn't want any blockage and stuff like that going on. That and my walls were a little bit thicker than they should be. So, I got it taken out a few days ago. These are the pictures I have. This, um, oops, wrong way. <laughs> so right here, this is a basic gallbladder. Um, right under it is the, that black thing is actually the stone. You can also see it a little bit better in this picture. So that's just the stone right there. So, and it was, it's like about the size of a pinky tip, but, um, perfect size to, perfect size to just block the tracks. So, they wanted to get that removed and everything like that. They also, they, your stones can get quite big in your gallbladder, so, and your gallbladder just helps, um, it's like a tank, so it just collects extra toxins and stuff like that. So, it's not necessary, but it does help, you know. So, they got taken out, and right now, this is what my stomach looks like, so move the camera down. So, um, you can see that there's one, two, three, four incisions. And this, if you guys don't already know, when I was a baby, I had, um, meconium ileus, and, um, most babies, when they go to the bathroom the first time, they go this black, this dark black stuff. And, well, I was black backed up, and I was really big and swollen, so they did surgery on me when I was only a couple hours old cleaned out my system, took out my appendix. So when they're doing your gallbladder, if you don't have too much scar tissue, which they are, I was kind of afraid of because of this, but they did a really good job on it, which I'm glad to know. Um, they go through your belly button, they go right here, and your gallbladder is actually like right about here. So they also went right there and then right here. They did it microscopically, and they um, what they do is they lift up your gallbladder so that it's like above your stomach, and they have to take everything out and push into the next um, thing. But they also inflate your stomach with air. That's one reason you can't eat um, before surgery, especially on your stomach, is because they have to fill it with air so that it can, they can properly inflate it and stuff like that. So um, and they inflated it and then they cut it out. And um, yep, so I asked them if I could keep it, but they said no, they don't let people keep them anymore. It's not the old days, but they took pictures of it for me. so. I think that's pretty cool. So, I got pictures of my gallbladder, and they were gonna do pictures during the surgery, but there's too. It was it would have been difficult to do that. So, but I'm glad I got anything. So, um, just hit me up with any questions that you guys have about gallbladders and getting your gallbladders removed. And my mom's lived most of her life without her gallbladder. She got taken out when she was about her early 20s. My grandma actually died from gallbladder cancer. So, I'm kind of glad I got taken out now. So, for so I won't have to deal with future problems, but, um, oh yeah, technical name for gallbladder removal is called coli has extomy, it's, the word is when you take, remove something, and then coli stands for, um, the gallbladder, so, and it's spelled, like, um, I think C-H-O-L-Y, or C-H-O-L, I mean C-H-O-L-L-Y, so, it's one of the two, but, so it's not too bad, but um, I'm on oxygen right now for the pressure, because you can get, um, when they fill up your lungs, you can get pressure buildup. 
and that so it can kind of be difficult on your breathing. So right now I I'm, I'm on oxygen and stuff like that, but everything's going really good. So I'm glad to to do like be able to be stable and everything like that. And um, as well, I'm keeping all my food down. So it's kind of hard just to my muscles are trying to learn how to work again properly because I haven't been eating for a couple of week almost like about a week now. So before that, I was on clear liquid clear liquid diet, so it's kind of hard for your body to go back into getting normal food again, but everything's going really good, I'm happy to hear that. So keep on fighting your CF people, and if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up, and you know me, in the hospital, movie addiction, so if you guys have any good movie recommendations, old, new, classic, funny, romance, I'll try anything, I don't really care at this point, so just let me know. Thanks, you guys. Bye.